Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show. I have been mulling this around before until this happened. I was investigating, or I was going to start investigating the suicides of the bankers that have been going on recently to see is there an actual conspiracy because it just does not seem like coincident that so many bankers committed suicide all of a sudden, all of a sudden, when nothing was going on in the market. This was before, after, not even during, the crash uh, some some weeks ago but this I had to cover straight away Bitcoin exchange CEO found dead Autumn Radke the American CEO of Bitcoin exchange firm first meta has been found dead in her Singapore apartment while several media outlets have reported that Radke's death was a suicide Singapore officials say they have yet to determine a cause of death Radke's roommate Steve Beauregard is the founder and CEO of a different Bitcoin startup, GoCoin. He says that Radke was troubled. She had a phenomenal network of highly successful people around her, and here she is running Little Exchange, and it just isn't taking off in the way anybody had hoped. Beauregard was one of the last people to see Radke alive. A 2012 Forbes article about First Meta offered an assessment of the company different from Beauregard. Financial writer John Matanes characterized First Meta as a profitable company that offered a unique service. First Meta is exceptional, wrote Matanes, because it has consistently provided a two-way exchange service for virtual currencies that typically only see one-way activity. First Meta's website says that its team is shocked and saddened by the tragic loss of our friend and CEO Autumn Radke. Our deepest condolences go to her family, friends, and loved ones. Autumn was an inspiration to all of us and she will be sorely missed. Now, I saw some video clips of her, some of her meeting, some of her speaking engagement, and she seemed like a wonderful person, beautiful girl, very attractive. <laughs> I just had to throw that in there. Attractive people usually don't commit suicide. That's a statistic that you can almost count on as if anybody says, oh, that person committed suicide. It, normally that doesn't happen. Now, I know there was a supermodel that supposedly threw herself from her what, Park Avenue penthouse, but I didn't believe that story either. I used to model and those girls do a lot of things, but they get over them easily. And you don't become a supermodel by being thin-skinned. So this, this girl was very attractive, very successful, had stuff to do, had plans, had stuff to go to, had meetings, and she commits suicide? I don't buy it. I don't buy it for a second. Uh, there's really no other information that I can really look into other than calling around to Singapore, but I don't have any connections or contacts to do that. So this little article will have to do, and this is of what is just going around. But the Singapore authorities said that they have yet to make a determination, and they do not believe it is suicide. Tell me what you think about that, and please share my video on Twitter, Facebook, or wherever. Sharing is caring. <laughs> Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show.